This is another highly recommended walk this time in Glenorchy, in Argyll. Starting off at the Falls of Orkey, it's a grand old Duke of York style walk where you march up to the top of the hill and you march back down again. If you don't hang about looking at the views too much, maybe two hours, 45 minutes, five or six miles all in, but plenty to see and you can spend much longer. There is parking just at the Falls of Orkey and then the path takes you up to the Caledonian Forest Reserve uh, at Alt Brocklichen and then beyond on the other side of the Forest Reserve up the hill to about 390 metres above sea level. The falls are pretty much in the middle of Glen Orkey and uh, for those of you who are into wild van life camping there's a fair number of uh, really good spots next to the river Orkey all the way through the Glen. This walk is effectively divided into two so the first part goes up through the Forest Commission plantation and gets you to a flat area next to the stream, quite, the stream's quite wide at this point. There's a table there, you can have a barbecue, really nice spot. Watch out for this signpost on the right and then you take the track up on the left. This part of the path follows the stream uh, all the way up the hill and on the left hand side you've got the pine monoculture and on the right hand side you've got the older woodland uh, on either side of the stream. You'll pass this path on the right which is the track to the Bridge of Orkey and is also the access path up to the mountains and climbing the Munros. We're going to carry straight on. I will be doing that walk all the way up to the Bridge of Orkey and then walking back down the B8074 sometime next year. But at the moment, it being December, the difference between sunrise and sunset is only seven hours. And I really would like to take my time doing that walk. So this is the halfway point, And as you can see, it's a great wild camping spot. This second part of the walk takes you through the Caledonian Forest Reserve, which is about 500 metres from this spot, and then it just climbs up and up and up to 390 metres. I think the Caledonian Forest is quite interesting. It's the original temperate rainforest of Scotland, and uh, the Scots pines in the forest are directly descended from the pines that grew after the late glacial in 7000 BC. So this is the only part of the track where you probably need boots or uh, to be nimble, unless of course you can leap like a gazelle across this stream. The Caledonian forest that uh, we see today are just the remnants of that and the 35 core remnants and uh, supposed to be about 84 subsets of that but they only cover 44,000 acres across the whole of Scotland, which is not significant. Once you come out the other side of the Caledonian Forest Reserve, you start to gain enough height to see all the Munros, get some great views, but also get a bit of sunlight because at this time of year, it doesn't really come above the horizon. Just past the highest point on this walk, the path goes down into the woods again. So I decided to have uh, some meat or soup to warm up and uh, some snacks. We'll have to change the GoPro batteries. I'm on a bit of a quest to find some decent savoury snacks for these walks. I've tried pretty much everything the supermarkets have to offer but not found what I want to do. It doesn't look it but it was just above freezing at this point so uh, after a short break set up back, took some more snaps at the highest point and then set up down the hill. So as we walk down the hill I'll just take you through some of my snack choices. First off fuel bars. Tastes like some sort of post-apocalyptic paste but with coffee added. Roasted fav var beans, uh, leave you with grit in your mouth. Peas, brilliant, but too, much, too many and too small. Grey's protein oat bite, just so Moorish, but too sweet for me. And the winner is Love Corn, 
these are brilliant 45 grams per packet so they fill you up enough and uh, they also do a barbecue flavor so after the luxury of my second snack of the walk it was back to walking down to the car park the last of the day's sun was actually coming into the glen at that point and the mist was coming up off the falls which you could see above the trees as I was walking down which was magnificent another cracking walk in Argyle and looking forward to the time when these days stop being so short so I can enjoy some of the longer walks from here